Welcome to our eighth episode, I believe, eighth or ninth episode of Waking Moments with Seth. Today he's going to talk about, uh, well, the same subject matter, uh, awakening in the various domains of existence. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to let him come through now. Now, we do speak of the same principles, um, the same virtues, the same ethical standards that we always do. Um, the things that really matter in the Human beings uh, are the creators of their reality. Uh, they are also <clears throat> empowered with free will. Um, free will to make choices. And so within that context of reality creation, we believe there are some eternal truths you may wish to uh, discuss. Mm. Now, today we're going to talk about truth as a general, uh, all-inclusive concept. Uh, <clears throat> Notwithstanding these ideas that, well, the truth is relative. Uh, the truth is relative to any particular individual. <clears throat> that may be true. However, uh, the truth that we're talking about here is the eternal, uh, ancient wisdom that provides a foundation for all of your realities. <clears throat> so this is the truth of which we speak. Now the mm, monthly quote on our website, uh, you may visit it at sethreturns.com. Uh, is this. The truth hurts. The truth awakens you. The truth heals you. Uh, what does this mean from my perspective? <sighs> Let me tell you. In your personal world, uh, you are awakening. You're awakening to your self, what I call your soul's identity, your true self, uh, beyond the persona that you present um, to everyone. Uh, even beyond the persona that you present to members of your family. There's a deeper truth about you that you are awakening to at this time. <clears throat> this deeper truth uh, finds uh, <clears throat> its <clears throat> articulation, its expression uh, in this soul self that includes uh, the negative aspects, the perceived negative aspects of you, uh, the human individual. Uh, we've often referred to this as the 
negative persona that holds all of the shameful uh, negative experiences from your past that you are highly invested in keeping private, keeping secret. And so this is coming up to be acknowledged by you. By you. Capital Y. Capital O. Capital U. You. Hmm. So those dark secrets are coming up. Um, the truth is coming up. The truth about you is coming up. It's uh, escaping repression. The tendency for humans is to repress or to stuff or to deny or to explain away, intellectualize this material as you discuss it with yourself, as you um, consider, is this me? Hmm. So repression does not work now for those of you awakening at this time and this negative material. Uh, awakens you. Uh, so, yes, it hurts to acknowledge these negative aspects of self. It awakens you. Mm, meaning, uh, for the first time, you may be acknowledging the full breadth of your identity, who you really are, beyond the facade deep into the soul, you see, this is who you really are. Uh, so it does awaken you to consider your complete identity. Um, and in that process, it is not a mechanical process, obviously, but on the path of awakening you, mm, this truth about who you really are heals you. It balances you. It helps you to integrate the various aspects of your personality. The truth hurts. It awakens you. It heals you. Mm. Now, socially, let's say, in terms of your community beyond what we call the soul family, your genetic family, your adopted family, and so on. Mm, perhaps the truth is becoming <coughs> noticeable about your uh, society, about your neighborhood in which you live, about the greater society uh, that you call my city, you say, uh, my state, so you are becoming aware, perhaps, of a fact of life that we've discussed over 20 years in the books, that your culture, your society, uh, is not what it appears. It is, in fact, uh, often the opposite of what it appears. Let me unpack that a bit. Um, your community is a collective uh, expression of the public personas of human individuals. Mm, so the uh, this collective can be conceived of as a collection of smiling faces of people who are happy, of people who are um, accepting their uh, condition. Hmm. They are happy to be, let's say, uh, ruled by authoritarian leaders. 
uh, they prefer uh, existing within this collective, this herd that um, goes along with the collective will. <clears throat> Perhaps the truth is the opposite of that, um, that you are an individual awakening within a group, uh, discovering um, that you are not free and happy within this little construct. I don't want to implant um, these truths in your consciousness. You will discover it for yourself as you awaken on your own terms and within your own uh, personal realities. I am just dropping some truths here for your edification. Perhaps you are awakening to the economic uh, realities of your uh, world at this time. Um, as before, <clears throat> you may be satisfied with this lot, with your lot in life in which you work for a living and you uh, create value enough to support yourself, your family, what have you. But in this awakening, the awakening of humanity we call it, all truths are being revealed. The ancient wisdom is coming up to be known by everyone. Uh, you may find that um, you have perhaps been uh, cheated in your economic life. Mm. You may discover that uh, it is the rich or the, uh, the elites who hold the purse string. Um, much of this material is yet to be made available in mainstream media. So I'm just going to let it go at that. But if you follow this, uh, if you follow our little episodes here, you'll know that. I suggest that your governments mm, worldwide are going to return to a gold standard. Uh, as this occurs, the idea of lack will be transformed. <clears throat> and the ideal of prosperity for all will become possible. So economic truths, your political truths are becoming known to you now for those of you uh, that research. So your internet is available to you. Uh, to research on who these beings are that lead you. Uh, in the U.S. currently, uh, they are mm, running, <laughs> a good word, they're running for um, various federal state offices mm, towards this election uh, next year. Who are these people really? Uh, who are the ones that are leading you currently? Are they helping you? Uh, perhaps, as I've said before, perhaps they are not helping you. Uh, perhaps they are helping you to keep your place, to not make waves, to be subjugated. Is that what they're doing at this time? Uh, as you awaken to the political realities, uh, you'll be better able to uh, make these decisions 
for yourself. Uh, who will you choose to lead you? Mm. At this time there are many visionary leaders coming forward to do just that, to lead you uh, according to the virtues of humanity. Uh, now what happens as you, the human individual, awakens to <clears throat> the spiritual truths. It is the same as in these other domains. Uh, perhaps you have considered yourself a spiritual uh, person, a religious person, because you focus on a, a set of <clears throat> commandments. Mm. Shall we say, uh, in this awakening, everything is being reconsidered. Uh, in this awakening, the mainstream religions uh, are being revealed for what they are uh, and who these leaders are in these collectives, who they really are, is becoming revealed to all. Uh, and there is this point of uh, a type of fork in the road where you ask yourself, can I continue to support uh, who these religious leaders actually are as uh, their <clears throat> basic identities are being revealed. And then you make that choice. Uh, many of you are disconnecting from mainstream religions to go within and find this ancient wisdom communication stream that I talk about in my books. Again, these episodes are all about the same thing. That's why they sound familiar. Each sounds familiar. As in, did he say that before? Yes. That's what I always talk about. Uh, the awakening, reality creation, the ancient wisdom, you say. Mm, now having said that, I'm going to ask that you visit our website and play around. It's made to be user-friendly. It's made to be played with. And I'm going to ask that you come see us next week at this time.